What makes a modern day hero? And what constitutes villainy? Increasingly, we have to figure out the good and the bad of life's influences for ourselves. Villain, a cruelly malicious person who is involved in or devoted in wickedness or crime. This is the dictionary's definition of villain, and well, nowadays we are beginning to find a lot of people who practically live by these words, and worst of all, most of them hold positions of power and influence in our current society. As of now, most of the world's villains find themselves atop skyscrapers, controlling the stock market, and at the same time, dictating the world's economy, making sure the rich stay rich and the poor stay poor. But the list goes on. Even our own leaders have fallen to the temptation of villainy and have sold their morals for wealth and power. They then promote villains instead of peace, racism instead of brotherhood, and hatred instead of love. We need not look far to find the world's worst villains. They are probably Donald Trump, the President of the United States, and Kim Jong-un, North Korea's Supreme Leader. The haunting similarities between these two rulers are astounding. Both of them stand behind ideals of racism and violence, but worst of all, both of them could start a war that could very well destroy our world. In spite of that, there are still beacons of hope, authentic, big-hearted, brave, bright, brilliant, caring, generous, blessed and blessed individuals that dedicate part of, if not all of their lives, to improve our world, our quality of living and defend what they think is fair and honorable. Our daily living is already filled up with circumstances that can bring us down. It doesn't take much to do that, a rainy day, not catching the bus on time or even just a plain wood person, so we naturally try to escape to our comfort zone, we try to search likeness where it seems to be only darkness. Their comfort zone varies from soul to soul, to one it can be their dog, parents, favorite singers, youtubers and celebrities, among others. Even if it's just momentary, they are capable of getting us out of their ruts, they become our personal heroes. In the 21st century, there are a lot of positive, well-known influencers. People like Elon Musk, Barack Obama, Mark Zuckerberg, Pope Francis, Al Gore and Steve Jobs, just to name a few. They don't wear a cape. But if their attitude is necessary to improve our society and impact the minds of the young, if not of everybody, that is just rightfully grateful. Be it heroes or villains, we are, are the ones who choose our own role models. models.